Today, the church celebrates the memorial of St. Martin de Porres. And rather than film this reflection inside a beautiful space in our main sanctuary, I decided to come here to our sacristy, to the back corner where we keep our brooms. Because St. Martin de Porres was a Dominican lay brother, and he served the Dominican community in the most humble ways, sweeping, cleaning up um, within the community. He also had some training as a barber, uh, and back then barbers learned uh, very primitive forms of surgery and, and the medical arts. And he applied that great knowledge to bring about many healings. And uh, despite his great abilities, despite his, his, um, his great knowledge, he lived a very humble life. As a mixed race man, um, born to a black woman and a Spanish nobleman, uh, he didn't have many opportunities available to him, but even with that, he wanted to use what he had to serve the community. And so when the community went into deep debt, he even offered to sell himself as a slave. Fortunately, the community uh, refused to let that happen, and he continued to, to serve the community and to bring about many healings and um, through his, his humble service as well. He's a great exemplification of today's reading that speaks of Christ who took the form of a slave who was found humble in human appearance. And that reminds us that nothing is too small, nothing is too humble if we perform it with a great love for God, with a great love for God's people. And also we have to ask ourselves, how are we called to serve the church? How are we called to serve the broader community? Not necessarily through grand gestures, but even through the most humble, simple tasks performed with great love.